is a freshman who will have to step into a much larger role. And it's third and 14, just 26% this season on third downs. And more pressure and a second sack in the first possession of the game for this SMU defense. With the loss of Tajay Spears, an opportunity for other guys to step up in the backfield and it's first and 10. Pratt play action, has a man downfield into the end zone and the touchdown to Jones. And the green wave able to capitalize on the SMU miscue. 60 yard, 70 yard touchdown. He can score at any point on the field. That's gonna be a big loss for the SMU offense. Bouchel on second down with time and first down yardage again. And look at this after the catch from Kylan Granson, the senior tight end out of Austin, takes it across midfield. 43 yards down to the 32 yard line of Tulane. Danny Gray is the motion man and he'll get it here on the jet sweep. Good stiff arm inside the 20 with first down yardage, diving for the pylon. Did he stay in bounds? They are gonna say yes he did. Touchdown Mustangs. Make sure that they get some turnovers, create turnovers and keep the offense of SMU on the sideline. That time Williams almost with an interception. Tyler Page is the motion man. Bouchelle looking deep down the near sideline, puts it up for Danny Gray. And they say he did come down with the catch and another big play for SMU. This is one of the reasons why you gotta love Shane Bouchel. Just watch the ball placement from the quarterback. He puts it to the outside where only his guy can go get it. With a long of 46, so this would be his best effort of the year. And on a very gusty day in NOLA, that kick is good and SMU with the 10-7 lead. Because he can play in the backfield the entire game. SMU needs to add somebody to get him locked up. Pass across the middle and caught. Tyler Page stays on his feet. The cutback inside the 25-yard line. And yet again, another huge play. The Gar has a 48-yard field goal already on the books today. This from 45. And he hooked it, that is no good. The first miss of the season for Chris, and it remains 10-7, Mustangs. Playing his spot, making a play. Junior out of Dallas. Trevor Denbo coming off the edge, good. Pass protection pickup to buy some time for Pratt. Down the far sideline, and the catch is made out across the 40 to the 41 to Fat Watts. Down with a pistol on second down, looking for some ground game, and they find some. Big burst, Stefan Hutterson. If I'm too late, I go right back to the same play. Yeah, second and goal. Pratt again, this little spin move. Still no word from the officials, and there it is, he's in. Touchdown to Lane, and they retake the lead. Bouchel looking deep down the middle. Out near midfield, and the catch is made by Rashi Rice. And another big play for Bouchel. With this power set alongside Bouchel. Looking right the whole way. The fade has it up in the air for Rice. And Rashi brings it down. Touchdown, SMU. This will be a 34-yard attempt for Merrick Glover, who's got that one through to even things up at 17 apiece for Tulane. Running the football so far that you saw in the first half has really, I think, slowed this game down. The reason why Tulane is, I think, right now with this game tied. Another nice run for Stefan Hutterson. Boy, coming in, we thought Cam Carroll may get the bulk of the carries, but it, it has been the senior out of Petal, Mississippi. 
They need a conversion. This has been a problem for Tulane through the first four games, and not one here. Hutterson inside the 10, breaks a couple of tackles, and hits pay dirt for the green wave. And can Kellen Mond and the Aggies keep it going on following their big win against Florida last week? We're gonna try the reverse here, and they'll throw off it, and wide open at midfield is Rice breaking a tackle. Hauled out of bounds at the 20-yard line, and SMU brings out the trick play. We're gonna bunch him up on the left side. Bentley will shift over that way, and he'll run it that way. Trying to get the corner, and he does. Touchdown, Ulysses Bentley. If you can get all of it, yes, that's fine, but you want to at least get half of this back and, and put your defense back out there on the field. Bouchelle's been terrific on third down tonight. He will drop it off underneath and see if Danny Gray can do the work for him, and Gray's going to get the first down. Breaking a tackle at midfield. Gray inside the 30, and the defender, Monroe, got an angle on him to shove him out of bounds, and another huge conversion, and the big plays continue. So now instead of the 28-yarder, this is a 33-yard attempt. Andy's got it. SMU grabs the lead, 317 to go here in the third. Seven penalties now in the second half. For Tulane, their 10th of the night. Pratt going up top. Has a man behind the defense down to the 10-yard line. Deuce Watts hauls it in. Hand fighting the whole way, maintained his balance and his focus, hauled it in. And now second and goal, Pratt delays and heads for the end zone and he's in. And Tulane will grab the lead to start out the fourth quarter. A couple of tight ends in the backfield with Bentley. Bouchelle will throw it into the end zone, back shoulder touchdown and it's Danny Gray. got to understand, could this possibly be four down territory here if they can't pick it up here on third down? Remember, Michael Pratt can take off if nothing's there. Just a three-man rush here for SMU. Pratt will throw it downfield, and he's got a man caught for a first down at the 11-yard line. Fat Watts got it. The field goal to tie it, 27-yarder, and it is good. And now if you're Tulane with the two timeouts, you're thinking, let's get a stop and get the ball back for our guys. Bouchelle rifles it across the middle, first down, caught by Tyler Page. And he's inside the 40-yard line, cut down there. And SMU's back in business for the late lead from 57 yards out. On its way. Upright, and it is no good. They're going to try one last play, see if they can get a Hail Mary for a touchdown to win this game. Pratt with the time. Pass is en route into the back of the end zone. And it is caught out of bounds. So that is the end of regulation. Tulane and SMU heading to overtime tonight in New Orleans. Long field goal if they don't get it here. Pratt against token. Pressure, it's intercepted. It is picked off by Brandon Crossley. And a big stop for the SMU defense. Low snap in place, and Chris Nagar splits the uprights for SMU, and they win it in overtime, 37-34.